well, oh well. Got some motherfucking juice for your ass. Man, in the words of Kevin Samuels, you can't make this shit up. <laughs> Assalamu alaikum. Shalom. What's good with the peeps? This is your boy Musa Azakar. Doing what it do. Do me a favor, please like, share, and subscribe. Like, share, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell. You be left in the loop every time your boy drop that Mickey Ficky flame coming about that fish grease at 40 to 50 degrees. On that ad, nigga. On that ad. Shout out to the man of fear, Kevin Samuels, O'Shea Duke Jackson, Ticket TV, Carcino, Kwame Brown. All the worthy ones before me. There's so many. Captain Desario, Captain Katazai, all them boys. Dr. Wesley Muhammad. <laughs> Boy, it's so many. It's so many that keep it trill. Even though they have their differences, but you know, it is what it is. Everybody's not going to like the same professional basketball or football team or baseball team like that. Real talk, right? But since we talking about, well, that, that was about sports, I got a little sports little story for you since, you know, driving race cars is considered to be athletic, which in a sense you really need to be because you got to stay hydrated in that small ass car going 200, something like 200 miles per hour or whatnot, you feel me? It is what it is. But yeah, peep gang, peep gang. I'm gonna leave a link in the description box, man. Check this out right here. Dale Earnhardt Sr. had a dark side and anger issues. Is that surprising? That included kicking an employee knee after learning about his torn ACL. God damn, boy, that's hard. <laughs> That's hard, man. It says on the track, the Dale Earnhardt Sr. earned the Intimidator nickname. The seven-time NASCAR Cup Series champion never backed away from contact, even while traveling at the speeds of 200 miles per hour. Lord, how much? The aggressive style was just who Earnhardt was. And it wasn't limited to racing. And I see. <laughs> see, hey boy. People be carrying their tempers and they be flaring. Motherfuckers be in their feelings. In a recent episode of Dale uh, Jr. Download, Dale Earnhardt Jr. talked with Ty Norris, who was considered a lieutenant for Dale Sr., and basically served as his right-hand man for years. I do an episode or two, the two recall many great things about the legendary driver, but also discuss more some of the dark times and his anger issues. Oh, Lord, have mercy. Including one incident where God so angry that he kicked Norris in the knee Right after he learned that he had his torn, his ACL torn. God damn. There are countless stories online of Dale Earnhardt and flinching willingness to do whatever necessary to strike fear into his competitor, competition. Whether it's riding in a bumper of a driver in front of him for miles or squeezing a car off the track. I hey, man, your boy off the chain. Earnhardt was never hesitated. It was his style. But God damn, doing some shit like that, I could just imagine. We already know he was on, probably doing them good drugs. Good drugs back in the day. That's just my opinion. Just an opinion. I'm so that man, shit, everybody did drugs back in the day. Hell, shit, my mom did drugs, my daddy did drugs, shit. You know, but I had money, so I had access to the good shit. Good, good shit, like cook, 
like kick a motherfucker ACL shit. <laughs> you know? Kick a man's knees out from him type of shit. But this is your boy, HBO. Like, share, subscribe. Like, share, subscribe. Hit that cash app. Hit that PayPal. Peace and a bottle of hat grace.